So here I am in a hangar now, but without a sling in sight, just random airplanes. And that's because I'm on the other side of the world. Welcome back to Sling Caper. So I've had a couple of people ask me what's going on with the sling. And of course I'm at home at the moment, which is on the other side of the world to where the sling is. And so I'm a little bit short on information, but I have received a couple of updates. So let's have a look to see where we're at. Here's a surprise box that turned up while I was at home and that'll be fun to get back to. Something that we weren't going to do, but managed to get around the um, procurement process, shall we say. Uh, that'll be fun. So Glenn sent me a couple of photos of the current painting progress of the airplane on what appears to be a beautiful Cape Town day. So here it is in its base coat silver, looking a lot better than it did when it was in its aladine state in the workshop. Looking forward to seeing it with its blue uh, painted on in the appropriate places. I do notice that it has the doors taken off it, so the guys have obviously had to take off the plastic fairings to get to the screws to take the doors off. So uh, I kind of wish I'd have known that they wanted to do that. I wouldn't have put them on in the first place. As Glenn says though, now it's their problem. <laughs> anyway, I look forward to getting back and seeing what that looks like when it's got all of its final coats of paint on it. It will need to go back in when it's finally completed just to get some of the fairings and things all lined up, but it uh, should look pretty good. Also in the meantime, I've been up to a few things. So I've said in the past that Glenn's experience has really only extended to the Cirrus that he learnt to fly in. And probably not uncommonly, he's quite keen on the sling being similar to the Cirrus. And one of the things that he's focusing on that he doesn't like in the sling as it stands is the throttle handle. The common Cirrus throttle handle looks like these. And of course the sling one doesn't, it looks like this. And so as a result, he had got some guys from the university to have a play and see if they can 3D print him a handle that he likes. And so while I was at home, I thought I'd have a play with it as well. It's not my job to do it. He's got other people doing it, but I thought I'd have a play and see what I could come up with. So I started by looking at my hand and noticing that it's not exactly symmetrical. So I thought I'd try something else. So I sat down in front of my computer to see what I could come up with. And I came up with this as a design shape. Um, in the understanding that your hand's not symmetrical, I made the handle not symmetrical. And so this is what I came up with. So we can see from this that there's the main throttle arm here and I've split it into two halves, an outer and an inner. We've got a bolt, a nut, um, the bolt just slides into the cavity like that and the nut will screw on um, inside and then hidden and then there's on both sides I've got a cap which will fit into the outside to, to cover it. I've also made a cap for the other side as well, I just haven't uh, shown it here on the assembly. So that was basically what I came up with. And here's the draft PLA plastic handle that I made and just sort of trying it out in my hand to see what it feels like. So this is just the draft. I haven't got the end cap in it, but that's the side the nut goes in. There's a bolt in that side and I've just temporarily glued it together just so it doesn't skew around all over the place. Other considerations in the design was that since it sits on the throttle arm, this not being round could do this. So I've added provision for a roll pin to sit in beneath the nut uh, and also another one I've put in the back just so the two halves don't sort of move around independently so that should make it a little bit more rigid. Of course PLA is not going to be any good in a hot airplane because after a while it'll start distorting in the heat. So this as I say was just a draft. So then I printed it in nylon carbon fibre. There's the a final version of it. I've, you can see the recess in here for the end cap and I've done it this side as well. This end cap here, um, I did it on my textured build plate so it's got that texture on it. This side here I just put it on a smooth build plate 
it's actually slightly tighter fit but you get the general idea on that it'll it'll pop out um, and the two halves there's the two roll pins and the throttle arm will fit in here so then that will attach and then I have to do it through the camera once the, the nut and bolts on here and the end cap I can just put that on with a bit of RTV or something and I think I might do this blue but the the nylon carbon fiber is actually a nice sort of textured finish I could perhaps also sand that smooth and paint it if, if need be but I actually I like the feel of that I don't know Glenn hasn't seen it anyway and I don't like I say this is just me playing around really just for my own benefit but uh, I actually find it a reasonable handle if you're not into the round ones I actually prefer the round ones because that's kind of how I've been growing up in the airlines but uh, this is this is interesting of course being asymmetric this is designed for the person in the left hand seat to be flying it and using his right hand for the throttle if you're on the other seat trying to use this hand it feels weird because it's obviously not designed to be operated like that so that's one of the problems with it being asymmetric now because this has a roll pin that goes in through the handle I need some kind of jig to drill for the roll pin in the handle and so here's my new printer printing the drill jig I'll just show you the time lapse rather than the uh, whole thing with me standing here looking at it but that's basically how it works and the finished result for the jig there it is but anyway I just thought you might be interested in that something a little bit a uh, little bit different uh, still waiting on a couple of little bits and pieces I think the props still on the way so I'll just be waiting here while that happens something else I've been up to is making a couple of these on the lathe um, they're fitting for the fuel tank and it's just so I can screw in an AN6 nipple into here yeah that sling actually already make this piece and I could have got it from them but I think you know how I feel about that um, this piece here goes into this hole this bit here is actually down the bottom um, this goes up into here and the return line puts the fuel back into the main tank through this fitting on our instructions that we got the fuel system this is the long range tanks comes in and they've just got it going through one pump we're actually going to split it so it'll come in into two so it'll be independent left to left right to right as it stands with their design they've got four valves and you can get this one going into this tank if you wanted to I can't see why you'd want to do that and same here so that reduces the number of pumps but it also increases the complexity of how all of this works the other thing which is a bit I don't particularly like about it is that the long-range tanks when it's feeding from the long-range tank into the main tank down here you could potentially have it feeding at the same time that the return line is pushing return fuel out through the same fitting into the tank I'm not a huge fan of competing for flow uh, when you're dealing with the return line from the main fuel pressure system so it's probably not a problem I just don't feel comfortable with it so I'm going to put another fitting into here and then this long range tank will just have its own line its own pump and go straight into the tank and then the fuel system will be completely independent also means I won't need all of these uh, four valves won't be able to cross feed it but I don't see why you'd ever want to and I can make it so it'll just feed straight into each one as required anyhow that's it for now from my place and hopefully we'll have some more information on its progress real soon see you later